I'm going to take a look at an air fryer. The Chefri AFW20 that's been sent to me to do a product review. It comes in a box like this and before we unpack it, like any product reviews that I do on this channel, I try to bring you, our viewers, products I think will be of interest to yourselves or your friends and as important, products that are going to be useful for myself and Sandra in our new home. And we've been sent a new eight litre air fryer. So I think what we'll do, I think we're gonna get the contents of the box out, have a look at what's in the box, run through it, and I might just, um, I might just cook myself up something quick and simple just to show you how it works. But I'm excited by this, it's got a couple of new features, so, Keep watching. Okay, so we've got the air fryer out of the box and in here you will find a nice size instruction book. Oh, well, sure. It's an instruction book, you know what an instruction book looks like. There is a little bit of um, a sheet to give you some advice about the heat that these air fryers can generate and safety, reminding you to give the little drawers and baskets a shake. There is your warranty registration card. Make sure you send off your warranty card. And if you're new to air frying, and we all were at some stage, here's some air frying cooking charts um, with sort of uh, different things from air frying and air crisp cooking and dehydrating and things like that. It comes with the drawers. As I say, each of these drawers um, are four litres and they're super long. There's your crisper plate and the drawers have actually got little, little silicon, let's call them risers, shall we? So instead of um, your crisper plate being on the bottom of your drawer, you can put it into a higher position for if you're going to be doing your grilling. So that's going into there like that. Uh, so it eats the drawers, it's um, R on this side here, so you know it's the right drawer. Also on this one for safety, you make sure you need to press in the locking button. So on a lot of air fries, you can just yank the drawers on this one here. Make sure you press in the button and same with you this one here, it's got a little L on it. And as I say, it's, um, it's low energy. You can roast, you can grill, you can bake and dehydrate. Dishwasher safe, your drawers and your crisper plates. And turn this on. If we open this up, you can see you've got the lights in the windows here and if you put this in here then you can quite see here or not but you've also got the um the lights in there so nice and compact it's, it's more like a mini oven i mean this is this is a sophisticated sophisticated bit of kit isn't it it's not just like a regular air fryer um yeah it's super nice and as i say it's come well packaged with everything you need right so we've dried so we've washed up and we've dried the drawers and what i'm going to cook i'm going to be to use it some more on the grilly higher mode rather than being at the bottom of the drawers so um yeah in it goes so i think what we need to do i think we need to turn this on and have a look at it in all its glory when it's all lit up. Okay, let's put some power onto it. And it has come to life. So, first of all, the screen, like I mentioned before, is all touch screen. As you can see here. Oh, can you see inside there? Look at that, look at that, it's all lit up. You can see in. And basically you've got a left function and a right function. You've got, you can turn the, the lights off or the lights on. 
you can do it left and right and then this illuminates everything I'll try and get it a little bit closer because it's not going to be very hard for you to see um, but you've got dual controls so each drawer can be controlled completely independently and the timing can also be done so you can do like a dual cook so just as an example say you've got an item in the air fryer for 20 minutes you can say put that into the drawer the left hand drawer for 20 minutes set the timer for 20 minutes and say your next item is 10 minutes you can say set your right drawer for 10 minutes you can then press the uh, the sink finished and basically the after 10 minutes the second drawer will kick in and the actual cook will finish simultaneously and, and synchronize and it has got I've never seen this before it's got a shake function so as you know um, with an air fryer one of the best ways to get a good cook especially doing things like chips and things like that you uh, roast potatoes you need to give it all a good um, a good shake so to say we've got uh, options on, on here on the display, I'll go through these a little bit closer. We've basically got the air fry, we've got roast, we've got air crisp, we've got broil, bake, dehydrate, and a reheat function. And everything is touchscreen and painfully simple to operate. I think I'll try and get the camera a little bit closer and all being well, you'll, be, you'll, you'll get to see some of this, this display a little bit closer up and I can show you um, I can show you what's what. So on the left hand side there's a little temperature button so this is where we'll raise the temperature up and the right hand side is the time function. Let's try and get the camera a little bit closer so you can see and again if you want more information on the Chefree AFW20 check out the description down there below. Okay I'll try and run through um, what's going on here. So as I say this is your tool functions and you can opt to just cook on the left hand side, the right hand side or you can do a or a dual cook so that's with the power off quick press on and now we're ready so if you wanted to do just use the left hand drawer you'd click the left hand button and that's now left is now set as default and you can also do the same and go to the right button so come back off here go back on but for this demonstration we're going to do left and right as if we're using both drawers it's not going to be very easy to see but here these drawers are lit up and where am I so this button here and this one here you can I don't know whether you can see so you can actually see what's cooking the temperature is here on this side here and you've then got a timer over on this side here you've got a shake on or a shake off reminder so this will just give you a reminder to do a shake and then you've got options for you can do air fry which is shown here roast which is coming up you've got the air crisper broil baking dehydrate and if you're heat, uh, reheating and if you're grilling. So the items that I'm gonna have in a moment, I'm probably gonna put this onto more, no, I'm gonna air fry, but we could use it as a grill. So if you would, I don't know, if you just say one, if you ever, you've tried to do toast in an air fryer, you'll know how dry and um, horrible the, the toast comes out. But if you want to do like say cheese on toast, you can use the grill function. Okay, so I'm just gonna go on to air fry. So if we just put the, the, I don't know, the temperature at 190, then on this idea we've got the timer, and I'm just going to set that for what I'm going to do for 10 minutes. Then I can go over onto the right hand side, and I'm going to bring that temperature also up to a little bit higher, because I'll show you what I'm going to do in a moment. I'm going to do that at 200, and I'm going to do this initially for five minutes. So here's a, here's, a, here's a timer here. And as I say, we can put a shake reminder on and we can do a sink finished and I'll show you what I'm gonna cook and you'll understand. All right, there you go. I've got some chipolatas and some bacon. The food that a campsite warden lives on. 
So let me put these into the baskets. Okay, lights, lights, got the bacon into the right drawer. Sausages are going into the left drawer. We're kicking the air fry. I've got the shake on on the right. And I've got a shake on on the left. And we can do a shake on on the left and right. We've set it all with the timers. So I'll just turn this off into so I've got this is at 190 for 10 minutes. Let's put that at 195 for 10 minutes. And the right hand draw, I'm going to lower that bacon time. and increase the temperature on it okay so we're on sink finish air fry we've got the shake set 190 on the left for 10 minutes 195 oh i've got this for um 15 minutes i need to lower that a little bit about there and then when we're ready to go we can click the start button so the left now is cooking and if you see here it's telling you now that the right is on hold so that's just going to take um, a few minutes to do that cook and a reminder to give it a shake so I don't know if you can see here I don't know if that's showing or not but it has got little windows that you can actually see inside how the cooking is progressing so you can actually sort of keep an eye on things and um, I personally have really really have used this on the air fryer I've not tried I've not had one of these with the grill function but the grill is going to definitely be handy for me and um, with always been delighted with air fry cooking and the drawers as I say are dishwasher safe but what we personally like to do is as soon as we've finished with this we will get the bowl, uh, the washing up bowl with some warm soapy water and we tend to clean it straight straight away um, and everything. So again, I won't bore you for now, but basically the left's cooking at the minute and the right's on hold and we'll get a reminder to give, it's primarily the sausages a shake, but what I'll do with the bacon, with some silicone tongs, we'll give it a flip over. Okay, so. The end is inside. So we've given this a shake with the sausages and I've flipped the bacon in the other drawer. I'm gonna have a, we're gonna have a sneak look at what's in here. Um, with any air fryer, just always remember they do get hot around, so make sure you're keeping a safe distance when you're using these. So, oh, that's a crispy bacon. Um, you can't see, let me just pop that onto plate here so I'll put it on top and you can see that you can see that I'm not cheating so that's there oh okay. wait 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 and you Russia so I've got the dog down at my feet looking here below so these are dead easy to clean as well so One thing you notice is out of the air fryer, so there's there's no excess fat or oils or anything like that, which you don't use in an air fryer. And look at the cook on that. Bacon, 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 bacon. And the bacon there. So I'll just put that onto the top now. So absolutely chuffed with that. I think the little, the, the little window, it, it's funny how air fryers are evolving, isn't it? And ideas that are coming out now that weren't perhaps thought of um, when the first range of air fryers come up. So you've got that super little window so you can monitor and keep an eye on your cooking, your baking, your grilling, your roasting. Do you remember all the functions we've got on here now? This is, it's a mini oven. It's, it shouldn't really be called an air fryer. It's a mini air frying oven, isn't it? With an incredible amount of arrays on it. 
you've got the shake reminder so it's, it's just making sure you're reminded to shake um, I say you've got the two four litre drawers super long loads of space in them it's low energy you've got the 18 one roast grill bait dehydrate dishwasher safe drawers touch screen uh, the, you, you turn the lights on they turn the lights off you've got big long drawers dual controls on both sides independent cooking you can cook just on one side you don't have to have it on two sides so it's economical as well and that higher crisper plate position you can now grill things like cheese on toast toast toppers tomato and cheese on toast but you can now use this more like a conventional grill where an air fryer you never could because it was always at the bottom of the um, of the drawer the pan so um yeah as ever there is a link down there in the description below for more information on where you can buy it from i'm not going to give you the price prices alter um on online shops and online portals but go and check it out and that is now going to be replacing our old air fryer which is the other side of the kitchen if you watch my vlogs you'll know exactly what i'm on about so um yeah beautiful hope you've enjoyed that if you have done remember smash the like button if you so wished thanks for watching